Talking Northeast 10 men's ice hockey today with Jeremy Connor, the goalkeeper from Franklin Pierce, currently leads the league in both save percentage and goals against average. Uh, first off, Jeremy, congratulations on your season. Thanks for joining us. Uh, what's worked for you this year? Thanks for having me. Uh, a lot of new this year, new arena, new coach. Um, guys are really buying in right now. Uh, since coming back from break, we've had a really good stretch here, and uh, we're really starting to find an identity and kick it into gear. Tell me about the new factors. Uh, what's different about the changes that you've had this year? Yeah, definitely. Um, a little bit of a late change there with our coach uh, and our rink. Uh, finding out like we weren't playing the same rink was a little different coming late late in the summer there. Um, so just identifying a new home, get, feeling comfortable, getting uh, comfortable in our space. Uh, our locker room finally got finished after a while. So just getting adjusted to everything and getting a new routine this year was definitely different, but I think guys are finally starting to enjoy it. Talk to me about coach um, and uh, what's different, what kind of adjustments you go through um, and uh, what Josh has brought to the program. Yeah, it's definitely it was unexpected. It was a big curveball for a lot of guys, but uh, coach Fosco has been great for us. I think our, our potential and our ceiling as a program and as a team as is higher than it's ever been. Um, it's, a, it's definitely nice to have a fresh face. I think, Guys are really, uh, really buying into what he's brought to the table, and uh, we're really excited. Tell me about your growth and development, because, I mean, obviously more consistent playing time helps, but I just look at it statistically. Uh, you played six games last year. You gave up 25 goals. You've played 11 games this year. You've given up 28. Uh, so it, it seems like you've settled in really nicely and found your stride here as a sophomore. Yeah, definitely. Um feel good this year obviously playing more games helps uh just learning a lot last year behind guys you know fifth year last year of Kyle Martin it was huge I was always uh practicing on his end uh so it was really good to learn from him and uh just adjusting to the college game definitely takes time uh last year definitely played some good teams so it definitely didn't help uh but yeah definitely feel very comfortable this year and it's been great what did you learn about playing college hockey as a first year uh, it's, just, it's a lot more of a grind, you know, obviously with the school aspect of everything, uh, it's, it takes some time to get adjusted to living on your own, living with some new guys, uh, new, new place I've never been to this school. So just adjusting to getting back into school and it's, it's an all year thing. Uh, even after the year, it's, you know, workouts, you know, multiple days a week conditioning. So it's a long, long haul and it's definitely not as many games as the junior season, but it's, it's still a grind. As we record this, uh, you're coming off of a 45 save performance and a 30 sa 37 save performance against St. Mike's. A couple of really big wins for you um, to pull into second place in the conference standings. Tell me about those two matchups in particular and what clicked. Uh, I think it started the week before. I think we just was coming back from break. We had a really good week of practice. Uh, we had a good weekend against St. A's where we split. I, I thought the second half of that weekend, we really started to find our game. Uh, just another good week of practice. And then coming to St. Mike's, we knew it was a huge weekend for our second and third place. We knew we had to get points there. And uh, I think everything started to click together this weekend and we really found our game. And we had two really successful games, I thought. Just guys were really buying in on defensive end, blocking shots. I mean, you said the shot totals, but we had multiple 15, 20, 25 block shot games there. And that really helps. And guys keep making it easy for me. I feel like there's a, a great origin story for every goalkeeper uh, so, so what's yours? How did you first wind up between the pipes? Uh, uh, I started as, as a player. That's what I think most goalies do. Uh, my older cousin, my cousin that's my age, we all played, played roller hockey. And my older cousin was a player. So we just wanted to be just like him, being a player. And then one game, our goalie what, couldn't make it. So I said, yes, I guess. And did good enough to where I kept playing. And one thing led to another. And now I'm stuck here. Uh, does it take a certain level of insanity to put yourself back there? Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely would rather be scoring goals than pulling pucks out of my net sometimes, but uh, it's fun. You know, it's challenging. Love taking the opportunity away from another guy to score a goal. I was going to say, what do you like about the the pressure? What do you like about the moment, um, you know, getting peppered with 50 shots and having to to step up to the plate? Yeah, I mean, it's it's almost more fun when you get games like that where you have 40, 50 shots than the games you have 15 or 20. It's almost easier. Uh, just You just live for those high moment chances. Guys get a breakaway on you. Just a chance to make a difference in the game. Get the guys going a little bit. That's just what that's what gets you going. You come from New Jersey uh, out of St. John Vianney High School. 
Uh, how did you wind up in New Hampshire? What brought you to Franklin Pierce? Uh, just last year, you know, or should I say two years ago, uh, being an AGL and uh, EHL, just talking to a few schools and just coming here, visiting here. The, the atmosphere on campus was really cool. Um, it's just a beautiful location. I think the amenities for athletes here is, is uh, top notch. And uh, I think the guys here really did a good job of like showing me around and it really enticed me. And uh, as their season winded down, I thought this was like my best option to be successful. And uh, I saw a fifth year goalie there and an opportunity I thought, you know, could really learn and develop and come into an opportunity in the following year to be successful. Do you guys feel that that as a team now you're hitting your right stride and where as we record this, not all that far out, maybe a month out from the, the end of the season uh, to put yourselves in position to to walk away with the championship at the end of the day? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I think we're coming together here as a group really well. We've added some new guys here coming back uh, second semester, and I think uh, everyone's really bonding really well. I mean, we have a really tight group, and I think on the ice, our product's finally coming together here, and I think right now is a great time to have our game be in well-routed shape here, and I think we're excited for games to really start to matter here down the stretch. You guys are in Worcester uh, this weekend, so about as big of a regular season matchup as you guys can get with back-to-back matchups against Assumption. Uh, what runs through your mind as you get set to take on the grounds? Definitely. Um, you know, you look at the standings, they they haven't lost many games this year. So, um, you know, it's a great opportunity for us. It's a huge weekend for points. Um, so we're really excited. You know, I think, like I said, we had a good week of practice this last few weeks, and um, we're really excited. It's going to be a big matchup for us. Who'd you look up to as a as a young hockey player? Uh, I was always a Lundqvist guy. I'm a Ranger fan, even being from New Jersey. A uh, huge Lundqvist fan. Um, obviously, though, being from New Jersey, went to a bunch of double games and having Brodeur right there. That's what I was going to say. Backyard, I'm was, surprised you didn't jump into Marty Brodeur. But, yeah, my family is a huge Ranger fan, so I'm the Lundqvist, I'm on the Lundqvist half for that battle. Um, did you ever have a cool painted mask at any point growing up? Uh, when I was younger, but yeah, I had a couple. If you could design the coolest goalie mask to make a statement, what would it look like? Uh, right now, my idea is I like the old school white around the eyes, kind of an outline of the eyes. And then um, a little Eddie Belfort tribute because we have an, the Raven, a little eagle he had. So I would like a Raven on the side, a little old school. Just keep it simple. Jeremy, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, congratulations on the success this season. Best of luck with a big weekend ahead. And uh, looking forward to seeing what the rest of the season has in store. I appreciate it. Thanks for your time.